Hi guys, it's me again. Um, I I was thinking about some stuff and I wanted to um share them with you guys. I wanted to talk about or really answer the question of is it truly over? If uh, you're familiar with certain internet subcultures, uh, particularly those that uh, maybe practice let's just say dark medicine, you'll recognize that phrase, and uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts on it, you know that I address uh, this community a lot in my videos, um, and um, yeah, honestly, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kind of agree with them on a lot of stuff, and I think that for me and other disabled people, it's probably over. Um, now, even so, even so, most of the people saying that it's over for them are kind of just average, awkward white dudes that don't really touch grass. Even if it is over for you, why, why, why? does it have to become an obsession why is that the only thing you focus on why don't you go outside why don't you touch grass i understand i trust me i know more than anyone i've already talked about my experiences and how cruel people can be on here but like still my man you're still a human being i reiterate this so much but it's 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 uh it's the truth, you have to be grateful for what you have, you have to realize that there are people like me and many others who, like, literally are disabled, and for whom that stuff will probably never come, now, I have talked on here about my one partner, but of course, as these people of this certain subculture will tell you um i i i agree with them in in saying that you can't look at one or two or three or even five examples and then say that that proves that they're wrong because those are the exceptions to the rules and i consider myself lucky to have had a partner that was definitely an exception to the rule and to be honest i don't think i'll get another one but still that that can't keep you from enjoying your life from like having and pursuing friendships with with others girl boys and girls and and men and women right like i don't i also never understood why they're so adverse to friendship as well what is wrong with friendship um and this is not to judge you guys i just wanna i wanna help and i want you to see that there are people in way way worse situations that doesn't invalidate your experience and i know that especially if this video ends up gaining some traction i'm gonna get called all sorts of things but that is the truth that it, it really just is that way and of course i agree with with some of their points because i've experienced them and if you're really an outcast if you're really different and as you can you guys can see i'm also freaking ugly bro like again i have a lazy eye if i didn't have my lazy eye i would probably just be average but I'm heavy set. I'm Latino. Yes, I pass for white, but that here in the United States that doesn't fly. Like that doesn't matter. I just look like a below average dude. 
So, yeah, but, like, still gotta focus on other things. You still gotta touch grass a little bit. Uh, I may even make another video explaining how I overcame a lot of my anxiety. Uh, but, but, yeah, I'm... It just bothers me to, to see young men so caught up on that and when they don't have any peace and acceptance. It's fine to give up, but you shouldn't keep focusing on that one thing that made you give up. You should just be at peace with it and accept it. Oh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. But yeah, that's how I feel on that subject. Yeah, it is over for some. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but there's a lot more that you can do and a lot more time as well. I know it's a cliche, but that's really the way I feel.